if uh, okay, I always like to ask people these questions, right? All right. If if uh, people from other states or cities come to your town, what is the best food in your town? Oh shit, man! I'm I'm in fucking Miami now, so fuck. Okay. It's pretty diverse <laughs> here. It's pretty diverse. I mean, I like Cuban food. You know, I like uh, Jamaican food. You know, uh, fuck, I like all food. You know what I mean? Uh, Mexican food, American food. It, it's just yeah. the mood. You know what I mean? Cubans is real big over there. They got them Cuban sandwiches real tough over there. A lot of Cubans. You know, all my padrinos, you know, in, in the religion. You know what I mean? Uh, my All my padrinos son Cubanos. All of them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Cubans, a lot of Cubans over here. Yeah. That's they talk really up. they talk really fast too, huh? <laughs> oh man, for real. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. But Miami's a real diverse place. It's really nice out here. It's nicer than Cali. Way nicer looking. But uh, uh expensive out here too. Me, huh? A lot of people tell me a lot of people tell me not to move there because there's a lot of hurricanes. Is that true? Well, I mean, life's a risk anywhere you go, you know what I mean? Right. Fucking earthquakes in Cali. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Anywhere you go, you know, you go to fucking Kansas, there's tornadoes. You know what I mean? Anywhere you go, homes, there's going to be something. Anywhere. You know, it's just uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever you're into, you know? All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a couple of questions, and you got to choose one or the other, all right? All right, let's do uh, Snoop Dogg or the game. Who? Snoop Dogg or the game. I like Snoop Dogg because, you know, I like both of them, but Snoop Dogg's more relaxed. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, Beyonce or Rihanna? Man, I don't like none. <laughs> That's not my type, Holmes. I, I don't, I don't get jiggy with that shit, Holmes. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, um, let's see, what, what can we do, what can we do? Um, tacos or hamburgers? Uh, probably tacos, Holmes. I, I like tacos. Red hamburgers are good, man. <laughs> red, red chili or green chili? I like the red, man, because it's hotter. Um, let's see here. Do you, do, you, do you miss those uh, uh, bacon wrap hot dogs out in Cali or what? Because I know they don't got them down there. Shit, I'll make those motherfuckers here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. But um, I guess what I miss most out here is, is uh, good Mexican food. Yeah. You know, like New Mexico got bomb-ass Mexican food. El Paso, <clears throat> Juarez, you know, Tijuana, Cali got bomb-ass fucking Mexican food. Coke or Coke Pepsi? Or Pepsi, they said. Coke yeah, Pepsi. I, I like I like Coke better, but I don't drink none of them anymore. But but I like the Coke taste better, especially uh, McDonald's cokes. I don't know why those cokes taste different than any, any other Coke. <laughs> right. Uh, so so you don't drink cokes no more? Like like are you on some kind of vegan diet? Or are you all kind of on a on a certain diet now? No, it's just when you're uh when you're an espiritista and a healer. Yeah. You know what's gonna kill your ass if you keep drinking it. Mm. You know, cokes, you know, smoking uh fucking dope, drinking alcohol all the time, eating hamburgers all the fucking time, eating a lot of bread, you know, uh eating a lot of sugar, all that shit's gonna kill you. Instead of Kool-Aid and Cokes, I'll get a uh, fucking uh water and squeeze some lime in it. You know, uh si quiero un té bueno, if I want a good tea, you know, because I feel like the sniffles, I'll go outside and give me some hierbas, clean them up, boil them with the root. Put some lemon and honey in them, boom. You know what I mean? You just, uh, when you're a healer, you look at life from a different perspective because you heal people. And you start knowing how the human anatomy is, you know what I mean? And uh, how certain things affect you. You know, right now we're, we're in a time where there's the most disease in this world that there's ever been, Holmes. Because all these foods have all these fucking chemicals in them now. Right. You know, in Coke and Pepsi, they're... Some of them. That's why I don't really Somebody fuck with them a lot. Somebody said Dickies or Ben Davis. 
Huh? So somebody asked Dickies or Ben Davis. Uh, I think for for, I think Ben Davis. I like Ben Davis a little more. Okay, yeah. Shit, that all, all that shit costs a lot a, a lot of money now. They jack the prices up. You know, I, I think um, I think back then our culture used to wear that because it was more affordable. You know, and yeah, we used to, we used to style it up and, and you know do do what we could with it, but the prices then went up so high on that kind of shit. It's crazy. Yeah, everything's uh, inflation's all fucked up right now, man. You know, um, but me, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a humble cat. So I just I wear fucking I just dress whatever. You know, I, I don't fuck with that shit no more. You know, Dickies and all of that, and Stacy yeah. Adams and all that. I put on some fucking regular shoes and whatever's comfortable. You'll right. see when you're my age, Holmes, you're gonna agree. You're gonna be like, man, fuck that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna put on these shorts and you know a nice comfortable shirt. He, yeah, you know, get up and go. <laughs> but uh, everything's big, expensive biggest, right now, man. Biggest Stilo is asking, ask him if he moved to Florida because it's closer to where the Santaneros are at. The Santeros. Santeros the, the Santeros, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing, Holmes. Santeria, yeah. Palo Monte, Ifa. That's what we're doing. You know, not too many people out here do Santa Muerte, yeah. but I do. You know what I mean? Uh, well, Santa Muerte has been in my family for a while. Hmm. You know, for generations from what I understand. You know what I mean? Um, they have my padrinos out here, you know, uh, my madrinas. You know, they're Cubanos. You know what I mean? Uh, they, one of my madrinas, you know, is the, the Nueva York. You know, um, but um, we deep out here. So yeah, it's it's a good thing you know to be out here because we're close to Cuba. You know, if I gotta go, you know, learn a little something, something, get a little ceremony at Cuba, I just go to Cuba. It's not that far. Hey, have you been to Cuba already? Have you been I haven't over? yet. I haven't yet planned on it. Every you know, time uh, I go out there, man, I I, I just want to go, you know, because you can like see it pretty much, and I'm like, man, I want to go, but I never got the chance yet. But one day I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, yeah, I I, I want to go over there and check it out. Um. I heard times are real rough out there right now. Uh, you know, someone's, asking, someone's asking, is this the same big look out there from four flats? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't claim that shit no more. Yeah. You know, it's the spiritual move. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess so. Spiritual, uh, I guess it was just in my destiny for us to move here. Right. You know, it's... uh. New Mexico was cool, but you know, it was just uh, it's, the weather's real dry out there, you know what I mean? You know, we started getting into the religion, and you know, we had moved out here to be with some padrinos, uh, our ex padrinos, which we found out were fake, but we ended up meeting some legit ones, so everything worked out just fine, you know what I mean? And uh, everything's progressing good. That's good, man. That's good to hear. So, uh, so, so, do you got grandkids now? Yeah. You got some grandkids? How many grandkids you got out there? Well, not out here. Well, I mean, you know, in the world, in the world. Yeah, I got, I got kids in Cali. Um, about three of them. That's but it, it's just so far. It's so far. You know what I mean? You're talking like fuck, like a week drive. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. man, it's like a week just driving. You know, and I, right here, I got, you know, too many customers. You know, I, I can't be away from the house. You know, um, too many people you got to heal and help. Right, right. It's like a everyday thing. Every fucking day. You know, there's no hours. You know, if you if you wake up to take a piss at 3 in the morning, you get a fucking call. Somebody's calling. You got to rush and do some shit right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so taking a, a long drive to visit family in Cali is just, it's just not happening. You know what I mean? Got you, man. You're a very interesting individual, man. I gotta say. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I get I get stopped a lot in per person. Can I take a picture of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, man. So, uh, so anything you wanna uh, tell your fans? Cause I know I got a lot of your 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 old older fans when you were doing music on here. Uh, any shout outs? Anything like that? Well, just shout outs to everybody. You know what I mean? Uh. Keep doing your thing. 
You know, stay positive. Always stay fucking positive. Stay out of trouble. And make that fucking money. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Already, Love your fucking know, family. You Love your family. Uh, take care. Take care of your health. Watch what you eat. Life's too fucking short. Hmm. I know a lot of young motherfuckers that are dying already because they don't take care of their health. Life's too fucking short. You know, people want to live fucking life fast. And, you know, like they're gonna burn a fuse, and now all of a sudden they're sick. Yeah, stool. You out of here. Life's very delicate. You know what I mean? Don't listen to all the bullshit. Don't listen to all the lames. Just focus on you and your family. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can can they um uh, can any he's asking right here, sigas haciendo musica locote, like can they expect anything in the future of another song, maybe? I I have an album that um it's not it's not properly mastered. You know, because uh, the homie Joker, that's from Insane Asylum. You know, he's from my label. You know, he, he passed away a few years ago. You know, and me and him were doing this. You know, it's going to be perfect. You know what I mean? Uh, there was a lot of songs that uh, I wanted to change the lyrics that I did because I, I didn't fucking like the lyrics. I just wasn't uh, satisfied with the performance. But since he passed away, it's, it's kind of like, well... We might just release it the way it is. Sounding like shit or not, I really don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, it's something that he wanted to do, something that I wanted to do. So we might just have one more album, you know? And um, we'll see. You know, I got a, me, a producer, a producer in France. He's messing with it right now. So I bet, okay, see what happens. Let me ask you a question, man. If 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 anyone out there that are artists out there and uh. And they wanted to pay you for a feature. Would you be down to do that? Nah. No features. I already had a. I already had a dude that offered me a lot of money. Uh, not that long ago, and I didn't want to do it. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to work. I, no you know, I I got customers out here that you know they're rappers. You know, so so negros. You know, I hear the negros in Miami. You know, he's he's a well known dude, and um, I haven't even talked to him about music because i'm just not into it right you know what i mean uh i had asked him about a studio so i could finish this so i could write this one song this one beat that's already done you know the chorus is sung on it and everything and i don't know i just don't want to do it it's just music was never me that was never my fucking thing yeah i was a fucking gangbanger that's what i was you know, and I just fell into music, you know, and uh, I don't know. It was by accident. It was fun while it lasted. You know, it acted a fool for a little bit, but that was just never me. Right. Music is just not me. <laughs> so uh, I don't think I would. You know, for what? All I can rap about is violence. You know, I don't live violent no more. What am I going to be rapping about fucking walk by? I don't even, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All I'm doing is brujeria now, you know, rap about brujeria. You don't scare half these fucking fans are going to be like, what the <laughs> fuck is fool talking about? Yeah. Fucking Indoki and fucking the devil. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's just not me no more. Sounds like a dark album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just not into it, Holmes. Uh, and not into all this fucking, especially this rap drama. I just want nothing to do with it. All that shit's childish. I don't want nothing to do with that bullshit. Nothing but talk, talk, talk. I don't care for it. You know what I mean? Uh, I've evolved from that childish shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just distance myself the most that I can. Because everybody knows that I fucking love drama when I'm mad. It's like, why yeah, am I going to fucking got, put myself in that spot? Fuck you that. You got to save your energy. Save yep. your energy. In a productive way, you know? Use it in a productive way. It's about it. Sure. Well, shit, man, I ain't going to hold you up too long. I know you were busy, man. I do appreciate you. Uh, taking the time out of your, your 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 time with the family, and uh, coming on, and uh, I really do appreciate it. We will stay locked in and chop it up some more. Hopefully, I come out down that way and fuck with you. You know what I mean? We All right, let me know. Or something, you know what I mean? Let but, me know, brother. But yeah, much love, man. I appreciate you uh, for coming on. Uh, much love to all those that are tapped in. Uh, subscribe to my channel. 
Uh, make sure if you're on Facebook, uh, give it a thumbs up on the Mo Hustle page for, uh, for new interviews like this. We're going to be working on uh, bringing all kinds of rappers, all kinds of entrepreneurs. Uh, just we're, we're just making a platform for everyone, and we're open. We're not going to put ourselves in a in, in a box of just rappers or nothing like that. We want to bring some uh, uh, MMA fighters on here, uh, all, all kinds of different stuff. So you guys make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're on YouTube watching, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, drop a comment and let us know uh, if you got some good topics out there that we should discuss. And uh, we're out this joint, man, the hot seat. And I go by the name Mo Hustle. That's M-O Hustle. You can catch me on Instagram at the real Mo Hustle. And I don't know if you have any social media you want to drop or nothing, but let them know where they can find you. Yeah, they can find me on uh, Instagram at uh, Big uh, Big Locote, the real, or uh, OG Big Loco. You know, and I think my uh, YouTube is Big Locote, the real, also. Well, that being said, man, I appreciate you, man, and, I, and until next time. All right, let's cuida, man. Bendiciones. Right, dog.